G'day YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to install Drupal on Linux. Uh, there's two parts to this. Uh, first you need to, uh, half of it's on a web browser and the second half is on the terminal. Just because it's that's the easiest uh, combination and way to do it. So open up a terminal, type in sudo apt-get install lamp server with a little arrow up the top there. Hit enter, throw in your password. Hit enter. I've already installed it. Just follow the prompts and add in passwords when they ask you to. The second thing you want to install is called PHP My Admin. So type in sudo apt to get install PHP My Admin, as you can see on the last line there on the terminal. Hit enter. I've already installed it too, so just follow the prompts again, add the passwords in where you need to. There is one question where they ask you uh, to choose between an Apache 2 server or a Lite. Uh, server definitely choose the Apache 2 server. Okay, now moving on, the next thing we need to do is install the Drupal files. So I'll just copy and paste what you need to type in. It's a wget command, it's pretty simple. Okay, so what you need to type in is this line here that I just copied and pasted. It's wget http drupal.org files and so on. And make sure it's 7.15 as that's the latest release version of Drupal. And I will just hit enter on that one. Shouldn't take too long to download. Then when it has downloaded, you need to extract it. So type in tar-zxvf Drupal and hit uh, the tab button for autocomplete. Hit enter, let that puppy extract. Then we want to move it to the server file folder. So type in mv Drupal 7.15 space var www, which is of course the server folder which the world can see. Hit enter. Great, that's done. The next thing we want to do is uh, copy one of the uh, configuration files because it needs two for this to work. So type in cp sites. Actually, sorry, we first need to navigate to the uh, to the server folder, so type in cd var www, hit enter, then cd drupal-7.15, okay, now we're in the right spot, so what we can do from that point is type in copy sites default default settings .php, as you can see there on the screen, copy it just the same, then make sure there's a space there, then type in sites, default, settings, PHP, hit enter, that's copied it across, that's great. Now we need to uh, change the permissions of these files so that uh, we can actually write onto them just currently. At the end of this uh, tutorial, we'll actually remove writing permissions, which is always good uh, for security concerns. So type in for the moment, chmod a plus w sites default settings. Then once you've typed that in, hit enter. Great. Now after that's done, we want to actually uh, do the same thing but for another file folder. So type in chmod a plus w again sites and just the default folder this time. Great, so hit enter there. Now the next thing you want to do is uh, set up the database. Now you can do this in PHP my admin but it's actually really easy in Linux to uh, just type it in in one line. So it's really easy so type in my SQL admin u and then the user username currently at root we'll change that later dash p 
create and then type the database name in. Let's just go with a Drupal 7. Let's just go with Drupal 7. Hit enter. It will ask you for your password that you've recently typed in when installing the server. So I'll just type my password in now. There we go. So that's done. Okay, the next thing we want to do is actually uh, go into your browser of choice and type in localhost forward slash php my admin. Ah, don't you love Chrome? Localhost php my admin. Yeah, okay, it's just, I'm going to just type the whole thing in because Chrome likes to search for everything you put in there. There we go. Okay, username. Currently, keep it at root. It will change for security reasons later. Uh, then your password. There we go. Okay, now you're into the back room of PHP My Admin, which is really just a GUI interface for... Uh, the terminal in a sense. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, add a new user in the database. Go to databases first. Click on, uh, you'll see Drupal 7 as we have actually just created it in the terminal, which was our last line here. So go back to here and then click check privileges. Now, we've really just got the root user having the uh, ability to change things we want to give uh, we want to make another user for this database simply so that you know it's a user that um, if compromised doesn't have all the abilities and privileges should I say add user click on the add user button then uh, move onwards and type in the username now let's call it uh, here we go Drupal 7 DB user I've had that in the past Then type in the host, which is localhost. Then your password. Then retype your password. I hope I typed that right. And then uh, it would be good to remember what that username is. So that's a Drupal 7 DB user. Horrible name for a user, but we'll just have it anyway. Then scroll down and select, 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 insert, update, delete, create, alter, index, drop, and create temporary tables. And last but not least, choose lock tables in this global privileges section. I think that's pretty much it. Go down the bottom and hit go. Good. You'll see you have added a new user. Good, good, good. Then from that point, we are ready to go to localhost and type in localhost forward slash Drupal 715. Actually, my mistake, my mistake, dash 7.15. There we go. Great and you'll see the install.php file uh, show up. So this is great. Um, everything has worked that we've done so far, so that's good. Uh, just go for a standard installation, click save and continue, English built in, sure, save and continue. <sighs> database name. Now, if you don't remember the database name, just go to localhost, click on databases, and you'll see Drupal 7, and you'll remember we typed in Drupal 7, so type that in as well. Database username. Now, if you don't remember that either, go to, of course, databases, which are, we're already in. Go across to check privileges, and then this really ugly username. Copy that if you like, Drupal 7 DB user. Now, paste that in there if you like, and now enter the password, which you will know. I hope I typed that in right. Now, I'm going to save and continue. Don't worry about the advanced options. We won't be using them at the moment. Okay, here we go, great. Now it's uh, starting to install Drupal. It will ask us for more information in just a moment, so we'll just wait.
Shan't be too much longer. So how you been? You been good? Good, me too. Life is good, right? Okay, now you get this warning up the top. I will adhere to this important warning, security warning at that. Uh, we'll do that in a moment, but we'll continue on for now. Site name, whatever you want it to be. <sighs> email address. Ooh, I'll just put email at mail.com for now. Site maintenance, in it, sorry, site maintenance account. So what we want to do is add in the username, which of course is Drupal 7 DB user. Keep the email address there, password as we know it to be. You've got your own. I'm never sure I'm typing in the right password. Let's have a look. Okay, great. And there we go. Keep going down. Default country. Australia. Actually, that's not entirely correct. Canada at the moment. Time zone. Very important for uh, PHP and databases sometimes. So throw in your area. I am Toronto. And receive email notifications if you like. And check for updates automatically. Very important. So click save and continue. We'll see if that one goes through. Just give it half a tick. Nice, congratulations. You've installed Drupal. Now there's a lot of things you can do from this point. It's actually a completely different YouTube video, but we'll just go to visit your new site. And then we'll go to add new content. Actually, before you shut off this video, um, I'll do the most important thing here. I'm getting ahead of myself. We want to uh, change permissions on the files. We we want to remove executable permissions on the uh, config files we set up before. So type in, open up a terminal, type in chmod v for uh, verbose mode so you can you know, in a nutshell, you can see what um, effect you're having on the code you're typing in, which would have been great for this whole tutorial. Uh, sites, default. Sorry, my mistake. We're actually not in the right file folder, so we have to do it from the beginning. var www drupal-715 sites default now just hit enter, throw in your password. Okay, so as you can see, the user has all permissions. The group of users only has executing and the rest of the world has only executing. So it's very important you remove the right permissions. Okay, and now the, uh, now write that command again, but the only difference is add settings.php to the end of it. So sudo chmod dash v755 var www drupal75 sites default settings php and changed. Great. All done. All safe now. Close that off and here we are. Now if we log out this is what the site will look like. It will uh, have some articles and things there. But really, that's it for now. Um, if you really like another video, if people like this video, uh, ask me to put up some uh, back-end Drupal uh, how-tos in. And, uh, but that's it for the moment. As you can see, uh, that is your website. Uh, throw in your password that we've been using this whole time and username, of course, and uh, that's Drupal all set up. Hope that helps. Cheers.